So we'll look at problems in 11.3b. We're asked to determine if these molecules are polar or not. There are two criterion that I described in my video that can be used to determine if a molecule is polar or not. First, a molecule is polar if the terminal atoms around a central atom are different. The other criterion for molecule being polar is if the central atom has at least one lone pair. In this case, a CCL4 has a carbon in the center and four identical atoms as terminal atoms. And because these single bonds are equally spaced, that would imply that there are no lone pairs on the central atom. You could verify this, you could verify that there's no lone pairs by drawing the Lewis structure and discovering that. But you could simply look at this molecular model and see that the bond angles are all equal. So this molecule is nonpolar. Next is water. The central atom is oxygen. The terminal atoms are two hydrogens. Well, criterion one, as I described it before, is not met. In other words, the terminal atoms are identical. But there are lone pairs on the central atom, or lone pairs on this oxygen, because the bond angle between these two hydrogens on one side of the molecule is different than the bond angle on the other side. Their lone pair is pushing these two hydrogens downward, if you look at it like this. If you were to draw the Lewis structure, you would discover that there are two lone pairs, in fact, on, these oxygen, on this oxygen. So this molecule is polar. The next is carbon disulfide. This molecule is linear. Uh, the central atom is carbon. There are two identical terminal atoms. The bond angle is the same on both sides. That would imply that there are no lone pairs or lone pair on the central atom. So this would be a nonpolar molecule. And the feedback provided by OWL actually shows Lewis structures. You can see that there are no lone pairs on the carbon. Identical terminal atoms, so this is nonpolar. Identical terminal atoms, although there are lone pairs on the central atom, that would make it polar. And this here, there are no lone pairs on the central atom, as concluded before. And the terminal atoms are identical, so it's nonpolar. Let's look at a problem from 311C. We're asked to determine again if these molecules are polar or not. The best way to do this is to draw the Lewis structure and examine if there are lone pairs on the central atom or if the terminal atoms are different from each other. Beryllium fluoride. Here's the Lewis structure for beryllium fluoride. We see that the terminal atoms are identical and there are no lone pairs, so that would make beryllium fluoride nonpolar. Sulfur dichloride. Here's the Lewis structure for sulfur dichloride, and we can see even though there are identical terminal atoms, there are lone pair electrons on the central atom, so this molecule is polar. CH2O, which is also known as formaldehyde, has a Lewis structure that looks like this. And there are no lone pair electrons on the central atom, which is carbon. 
but the terminal atoms are different from each other, so this molecule is polar. And the answers above are consistent with the explanation provided by OWL, and they do a nice job of showing you the Lewis structure and the JMOL model. You can see that the nonpolar molecules, the bonds are not pushed down or up, however you want to perceive that. And the polar molecule, these ang uh, the angles are pushed because of the electron pair on the central atom. And this guy here, the bond angles are all the same because there are no lone pairs on that central atom.